Let's talk about root canal. How might it act as a source of chronic bacterial infections, potential link to neurological challenges? A root canal treatment in conventional dentistry is a necessary treatment. When you guys have extreme pain, we have to be there to help you. And this is where the root canal comes in. However, you have to look at the tooth structure on a microscope level. So a tooth has a big channel in the middle. There's usually your blood supply and your limb supply in your nervous system. So if bacteria, for whatever reason, go into there, this tissue gets infected and causes pain. So as a dentist, you take this out, you scrape it out, you clean it, you use ozone, all sorts of things to sterilize it. But this tooth doesn't have just one big root. If you see it in a microscope per square millimeter, you have round about 30 to 75,000 little, little dental tubules. So if you add up these dentin tubules in one root, you come up around about one kilometer, which is maybe 0.6 miles in length, where there's now anaerobic bacteria harboring in there because there's no more blood supply, meaning there's no more immune system to control these bacteria making a chronic inflammation around such a tooth. You can imagine it like the cat and the mouse. The cat being your immune system and the mouse being the little tiny bacteria in your tooth. So I always say it was never a good idea to leave a dead body part in your body.